Angie with the Mountain Girl Studio and I'm coming today to do a VR for Donna Little and Donna Little has a YouTube channel so please uh, follow the link below and if you're interested in joining her challenge please do so. So her challenge is adding uh, four, two out of the four elements and I'll go over what she's requiring and whatnot and then I'll explain what I did here. So uh, it is open to US and international subbies it ends January 31st at midnight and just one person per project or one project per person sorry <laughs> and here are the challenge requirements you must be a subscriber to her channel you must be at least 21 years old you must create any new project of your choosing that features at least two of the following elements lace doilies buttons or fabrics you must put a comment below if you're going to um, enter her challenge uh, let's see what else she got here. Um, add a link to the VR, a Facebook, or a blog. The more, I believe, the more that you share her challenge, the I think you get points for extra points for the entry. Um, but anyways, go follow the link below, and you can hear her explain everything in detail. So what I made, I ended up at um, being able to use all four elements, which were the lace, doily, fabric, and buttons, correct? Let me think. Let me see here. Yes. Okay. So, um, hold on one second here. Sorry. So what I made was a fabric butterfly and this is, uh, the butterfly I got the butterfly I printed on fabric is from Tracy Fox. So she has just came out with these. So if you're interested in these butter, this butterfly, um, please go over to her link and her link is always linked below and here is another example so it's a sheet of different kind of water like they're kind of like watercolor looking butterfly wings um, so it doesn't have the bodies just the wings it's called wings wonderful wings but anyway so I use Tracy's wings wonderful wings and I um, stitched them and then stuffed them with some batting and then I made the body and I used batting and I kind of just sculpted a body out of that and here's the doily element here and the fabric element is the butterfly wings and then I did some bitty bits and some string some tool and just kind of added some elements there sorry it looks a little blown out there <laughs> and then um, this is just a Tim Holtz metal piece and then this is a paper clip a giant paper clip that was gifted to me and I kind of hoard them <laughs> and then here's the doily element just to cover the back and then here's a button so you can kind of see the back there and let's see I think that's it for the butterfly oh here's the I for the antennas I used a thicker string and then to stiffen it up you can use either stiffy but I use a block of beeswax and I just run the string through it and stiffen it up and then it kind of holds its shape that way so yeah so there's that so I thought these were, this was a lot of fun. I love making different things and I thought these are just so cute and you could do, you know, you could print out moth wings and do moths this way, moths this way, just kind of distressed. I love doing distressed altered stuff. So, and then this is the tag that goes with the butterfly. This is another um, Tracy digital tag and I, it's on, printed on cardstock and then I use crazing on the butterflies and then and I kind of it was kind of a thick it's like a Tim Holtz medium but it cracks you can't see the cracks but then after it was dry I put um, glossy accents over it just to give it a shine just to give it another dimension and texture and then I just added you know some paints and some crackle paint and another vintage button there, some string, and here is the lace and another piece of doily and then some gold paint. So yeah, so this is my altered paper clip tag. <laughs> so thank you so much Donna. I had so much fun entering your challenge. I hope you get a lot of entries. So if you're interested in Donna's challenge, please follow the links below and we will talk to you later. Bye bye.